my beautiful people. What's up? Welcome to another Talking Tuesday. Today I want to talk to you guys about YouTubers and other YouTubers copying their content. Now I feel like on YouTube there is a lot of content that is copied. Being someone who uploads videos onto YouTube, such as myself, you basically have a free-for-all as for what kind of content you want to upload as well as the kind of style you want to upload. So with that being said, a lot of people say that Jax Gap was starting to copy or steal Casey Neistat's style of video. Now I understand where everyone's coming from because he does have like a very specific sort of type of filming and editing and like all that stuff, but in the at the end of the day, as a YouTuber you're creating something you enjoy creating. If that's creating something that's similar to a different YouTuber's content, then so be it. There's no law on YouTube saying that you cannot create the same sort of content that someone else does. You may grab inspiration from other people's content and the way that they edit their videos or the way that they film their videos and the type of style of video that they have, but that doesn't mean that you are copying exactly what they're doing. You have a vision of your own, so you want to take bits and pieces from their sort of videos and their editing style or their video style and then mix it in with your own style and editing style. Anyone can say that people are copying other people's YouTube content or their video content. Say with Joseph, for instance, he created the whole Whisper Challenge on YouTube and literally became a trend all over YouTube and everyone started uploading the Whisper Challenge. And now even TV hosts are doing it. So I mean, is he cheese that people are creating the same content he is or are using his idea for content for their own channel? I don't think so. He created something that he thought would be funny and other people enjoyed it and they're like, why not give it a try? So they did it. Same goes for me, for instance. I see when I edit my videos or when I film them or whatever, I take a lot of inspiration from Zoella. She is a huge inspiration to me and is a reason why I started filming and uploading videos to YouTube. So a lot of my content I feel like is quite similar to her content. You can also say that a lot of beauty gurus are stealing each other's content because they all do pretty much the same thing. They all do contour videos, they all do eye makeup videos, they use the same palettes. They may not do the same eyeshadow look, but they are creating the same sort of look from the same palette or they're using the same palette to create a different look. So I mean, there's not much you can really say about YouTubers stealing other YouTubers content only because like, like I said, it's a free for all. At the end of the day, everyone takes inspiration from people all over social media be it from Instagram to Snapchat to their Twitter and even to their YouTube channel. People upload videos to YouTube for different reasons. Some people start uploading because they've got inspiration from a different YouTuber or they just felt like they really wanted to create content that other people would enjoy or they just need an outlet to sort of express who they are and kind of be in their own person. And at the end of the day, it's really up to you as a YouTube creator to enjoy what you're putting out there even if some people are going to say oh you're copying this person's style of editing or you're copying this person's style of video it doesn't matter if you are creating something you enjoy then you upload what you want to upload you can't constantly be wondering what if this person thinks i'm copying this other person's content or what if these people start to think that i'm trying to be this person if you're creating content on youtube you create what you want to create as a person, as an individual, as someone who thoroughly enjoys to sit down in front of a camera and talk to it instead of thinking they're talking to an audience of people. Because me, for instance, I'm sitting in my room right now, literally talking to a camera, and I feel like a complete weirdo. But then when I sit down and edit, I know that once I put it up on the internet or put, put it up on YouTube, people are going to watch it and take something from it, be it makeup tutorial, people are going to take tricks or like tips out of that, be it a Talking Tuesday video, they might take an opinion out of it or they might get a different sort of angle of the topic or whatever. So if you plan on either commenting on someone's video saying that they're copying someone else's style or 
saying that they're literally this other person because of the content that they're uploading or you are someone who is new to YouTube and wants to create content, don't be afraid to be who you are. Don't be afraid to take inspiration from other YouTubers and the way they edit the videos or the way that they film them or the kind of style that they have. If that's something you enjoy, something you want to put into your videos, then do it. Don't be afraid of other people's criticism because at the end of the day, you have to be happy with what you upload. There are the people who are going to be watching the videos and they have to obviously enjoy it, but it's also something that you have to put your name on. So if it's not something that you enjoy or it's not something that you are thoroughly impressed with or happy with or wouldn't necessarily want to put your name on it, then why upload it to YouTube? I feel like a lot of people sit behind the computer screens and criticize other people because of the content that they upload or the style of video that they have or the kind of editing they're doing. And I don't think it's necessarily fair. I mean, obviously on the internet you're going to have trolls. It's a given. But if you want to create something that makes you happy, at the end of the day that's all that really matters because, like I said, it's your name, not theirs. So if you're putting something on the internet that you don't enjoy, there's no point. There's no point even uploading it. Because if you end up getting something out of uploading the videos, like a YouTube career, which a majority of people do, you're gonna be stuck creating that content for the rest of, or the majority of your YouTube career. Because a lot of people are gonna be like, this person's changing the way that they edit, this person this, this and that. And they'll start criticizing the way you change things. And they'll be like, you've changed. I don't like the way you do this. I don't like the way you do that. So from the get-go, you need to start uploading what you want to upload and the way you like it. And if people enjoy it, then they'll subscribe. If they don't, then they won't. You'll just try harder to get more subscribers that way. So, I mean, there's nothing I can really say. I've been doing this for five years and don't got that many subscribers, but that's not going to stop me. I still enjoy sitting down and editing videos and filming them and creating content for you guys. So it's not going to stop me. I'm going to still upload until something comes of it. Anyways, that is my personal opinion on all of that. Anyways, that is it. That is my rant on YouTubers copying other YouTubers. Uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the little button below to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. In the comments down below, let me know what is one thing that you feel like a lot of people get criticized on on YouTube. I'll leave all my social media links down below or in this corner right over here. And that is it. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! And decides to start uploading content onto their channel. I have my window open because if I keep it closed, it rattles too much and annoys me. But now that it's open, it annoys me even more because there's so much noise outside. It's unreal. Or I'm trying to telephone call. Hello. Hello. I'm great. How are you? What? Oh, we're doing absolutely nothing. I, I, uh, why? What are you doing tonight? Ooh, yeah, I know. I'm stuck in that. Like, I got two and a half hours of sleep last night, so I'm like literally dead. And I slept. That's good. The inspector didn't come today, which he said he would, so everyone's like walking around like a chicken with their head cut off, like making sure that everything's like clean and stuff like that, and he never ended up showing up, so. They always do that though, I don't know why they get their hopes up like that.